ويا اهلا بيكم في قناه سوبر سما حلقه جديده من لعبه جنشن امباكت والنهارده نعمل مع بعض مهمه وقصه المهمه بتاعه قصه يوميا اسمها دريم لايك تايم ليزنس والاسم اللي من تحت ذا فاير وورك جيرلز سترينج ستوريز يعني حاجات تخص الالعاب الناريه وكده لان طبعا احنا بنتكلم عن يوميا ورايحين دلوقتي نشوف قصه يوميا فلازم الموضوع يبقى فيه فاير وورك يعني هنروح على اول ماركه معانا كنت متحمسه جدا لغايه دلوقتي ما نزلت لكوش اي قصص للشخصيات او اي مهمه بقصه وكنت متحمسه جدا ندخل في المرحله دي واخيرا وصلنا لها لان احنا عايزين نخلص مهمات الاركون علشان نقدر نعمل الايفنت الايفنت عايزه مهمات معينه الايفنت معانا فيها دوري وفيها تاج وفيها حاجات جامدة جدا وهتدينا شوية بريمو جيم حلوين قوي غير المهمات اللي احنا اصلا بنعملها لذيذة فيها بريمو جيم كتير بس الحلقة دي على ما تنزل لكم ما تنزل لكم ما عرفش في وقت الايفنت ولا لا الايفنت كلكم طبعا شايفينها يعني اوكي دول عايزين يقابلوا يوميا اصلا هعللكوا بس شوية علشان تسمعوا هما بيقولوا ايه وكمان تقروا الكلام هما مصممين ان هما يقابلوا يايميا و... واحنا بنحاول ننصحهم يعني وكده بس هما مصممين فخلاص بقى خليهم براحتهم مع ان احنا اصلا يايميا و... <تصفيق> اهي واقفه هناك اهي راحوا لها فعلا <تصفيق> so 
down? She was only joking back there. How could the great Mujina Yokai not exist, huh? But we've never seen it for ourselves. That's because the great Mujina Yokai is extra powerful. And that's exactly why I need your help, isn't it? Um. It's okay. Don't be discouraged. Hey. Remember. من الواضح كده ان يوم يا حبيبة الاطفال اللي في ال <تصفيق> عايزين نشيل النوتيفيكسان دي مش عارفين بس حبيبة الاطفال اللي في انزوما يعني هم اصلا رايحين يشتكوا لها Got it. Thanks, Miss Yoimiya. We'll try and be more patient. Oh, yeah. Hold up a sec. I have a few slips of paper for you guys. One each. Remember to give it to your parents and tell them to keep it safe. Just tell them it's from Yoimiya. They'll know what it's about. Okay. Thank you, Yoimiya. We're gonna go back now. Oh, thanks, Yoimiya. Come play with us soon. Sure thing. We'll do. Take care on the way back, and I'll see you later. Vinta muzza giddan. Vinta muzza giddan giddan yan. Ah, so it was you guys. I guess as much as the way the kids described you. No worries, though. I'm not blaming you. The great Mujina Yokai is pretty popular with the kids, so of course they're gonna get upset if someone tries to tell them it doesn't exist. Okay, but it definitely doesn't exist. Right? Yeah, the first time I heard about it, I knew straight away that was probably something the parents had come up with to stop the kids from running off all the time. But when the kids asked me about it, I didn't want to break it to them. I just told them that it looks cute and likes to play pranks and doesn't hurt people. So, uh, I guess now the kids' impression of the great Mujina Yokai is mostly influenced by me. Huh. So in a way, this monster is all a product of your creativity? Maybe so. In any case, I'm not gonna be the one who exposes it. Sure, it's likely that the parents just wanted to stop the kids from staying out all the time. But they could have easily had other reasons too. If I just go ahead and tell the great Regina Yokai doesn't exist. Oh, well, when I'm in the moment, I don't want to see the picture. 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 They should be allowed to believe it if it makes them happy. That's more important to them than questioning what's real and what isn't. Heck, I entertain my fair share of fantasies too. The fire diamond that spins around and shoots out lights that are all the colors of the rainbow. Ooh, the mist spirits that live far off in the mountains and guide you to fairyland if you can find them. I know that they don't really exist, but I still enjoy believing in them. If someone came up to me and started telling me to stop being so stupid, they don't exist. <laughs> I'd give them the evil eyes and tell them to get the heck out of my face because uh, ugh, it's just so annoying, right? So what if it's made up? It's also really awesome and kind of magical. So it's not up to anyone else to tell me what's what. The things we believed and the experiences we had when we were young turn into our priceless treasures as we grow up. When you were kids, surely you guys believed in things like heroes who slew dragons and secret swords that cut through darkness. It's the same thing. If we tear apart these kids' fairy tales now, what else do we have to tell them? That Inazuma's locked down? All the grim tales of the vision hunt decree? I think it's a bit too early for all of that. I... Yeah! Oh, way too early. For sure. <laughs> Whether you understood me or not... Don't you worry. I'll take care of the kids and make sure they stay safe. Okay, it's about time I headed back. The Nagano Hara Fireworks Show is just around the corner, and there's still a lot of things to get ready. Nagano Hara Fireworks Show? Is that hosted by your family or something? Well, yeah. I mean, that's why your name is on the event. It's well known throughout Inazuma. Oh, on the subject? Are you busy these days? If not, then you should totally come along. I'll prepare an extra pretty firework just for you. <laughs> In that case, come with me to Naginahara. We'll go see my bots. There's still a few fireworks to finish off before the show. 
Inazuma عادي اصلا ده المعداء المعتاد من يومي ان هي رغايه فده شيء طبيعي مش هيزعلنا في حاجه يعني هشوف انا القصه دي يا يومي اسكتي شويه هي بابس كل البضاعه اللي انت عايزاها يا يومي عشان تعملي الالعاب الناريه جاهزه Can't let them miss out on a fireworks show after coming all this way, can we? <laughs> well, either way, come on in and have a seat. And I, Naganahara Rienosuke, will tell you all about the long history of the Naganaharas. That can wait. Pops, I need to ask you about something. Ah, <sighs> a long, long time ago. Uh, Pops has started telling his stories again. Don't. هي البنت راحت تقول له يايمي راحت تقول انا ممكن اسالك في سؤال فراحت في الاخر قال لها من زمن زمن بعيد قالت له راح قالت ل... قالت لنا احنا ان هو كده بدا قصصه من اول وجديد شكله راجل رغاي اكتر منها دايما عنده قصص هو شكله لا مفيش انت سرحت في كام حكايه بس ان بتوعك ده انت لسه فاكر قصدي عايزه منه الماتيريال بتاعت الالعاب الناريه علشان هي ما عندهاش ماتيريال تصنع بيها يعني ما عندهاش الحاجات اللي تصنع بيها الالعاب الناريه على ما فهم بقى كان ربنا معايا Was around, otherwise, we'd all be in big trouble. 
Sorry, I guess I was a little rash, but when I heard you come back, I just... Don't worry, Sakajiro. So far, at least, everything is going according to plan. We're going to look for firework materials shortly. While we're out, we'll sort out the situation for you, as promised. Thank you for all your help. He's one of our old customers. He came back to Inazuma from the outside world not long ago. While he was smuggling himself in, the Tenryo Commission found him and put out a warrant for his arrest. An arrest warrant? Uh, shh, keep it down. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention. If Sakajiro was caught, there's no knowing what crimes they could charge him with. All we can do is find him a boat and send him out of Inazuma again. Yeah, we know it's going to be dangerous, but there aren't many other options left. What if the boat capsizes? Uh, drowning is really scary. If things are this bad, couldn't you just not come back in the first place? Well... There's something I felt I had to do. But as soon as I got back, I started hearing about all these unbelievable changes. I had made my mind up originally, but now I'm not sure anymore. I didn't want to cause any trouble for Yoimiya or Mr. Ryunosuke, but I'm very grateful to them for taking me in. Hey, no worries. You're more than welcome. Remember what I said? As long as you've got that little piece of paper, you'll always be a valued customer of the Naganoharas. Little piece of paper? Yep, the same paper slips as the one I gave to the kids earlier. Whenever a customer orders fireworks for a commemorative event, we always include a little paper slip with the goods. Only people from inside my family can understand what's written on it. It's the recipe for the fireworks they ordered. If someone shows a Naganohara that paper slip, we guarantee we can make the exact same firework as the original one they purchased, whether it's 10 or even 100 years later. Wow, that is so awesome! It's a family tradition. All our regular customers know about this. The slip I have is from back when my parents ordered fireworks from Mr. Ryunosuke. Now that I think about it, it must be nearly 20 years ago. <sighs> I would have thought that things would turn out the way they have. It'll be fine. Escaping in a boat is just a last resort for if there's no other way. I'll still try and come up with a different solution, because it'd be much better if you could stay in Inazuma. Whatever their reasons might be, if our customers come to us looking for help, we're not about to leave them high and dry. Thank you. This way, I still have some time to consider my options. All right. Well, let's not stay out here in the open for too long. Hurry up and get back inside. I'll let you know as soon as I have an update for you. All right. I'll, I'll leave it to you then, I guess. It's a shame. They still wouldn't give him a permit, even though he was born and raised in Inazuma. Speaking of, you guys only got here recently. How did you manage to get a permit? Even then, we only got through thanks to some help from Miss Haragi Chisato of the Kanju Commission. Oh, I see. So you had Big Shots helping you. I guess that won't be of much help to Sakajiro. Uh, I just wish the commissions could be a little bit more flexible. I bet nowhere else you've been is quite like Inazuma, huh? <sighs> well, no matter what, I have to find a way to help him. I'm sorry. I invited you to come watch the fireworks, but now I have to run a few errands. You don't have to join me if you don't want to. I can go sort out the firework materials in the boat by myself. And then you can come meet me back at the house later. Oh, cool! Then let's start with Sakajiro's boat. We can chat along the way. Oh, yeah! Can I ask how you two first met? Yeah, Landra Hmm, تعال نروح ماشي لأن كده كده التليبورت مش هتوصلنا عند المكان بالضبط. Why do you look so excited? Because, because you said person and not floating child or mascot. Koichi, I'm here. How is the boat coming along? Yeah, it's uh, all right, I guess. Um, I was questioned though. Wait, 
Wait, should we really be talking about this in front of them? Oh, don't worry. They're my friends. You can trust them. They came with me to check up on the boat. Yeah! You could say we're all in the same boat here! Oh, I see. Sorry. I didn't m mean to doubt you. I'm just being cautious. The boat is ready, but I'll have to be discreet moving it here. Huh? Why is that? Because of the Sokoku Decree. The Tenryo Commission is really suspicious of any kind of seaborne vessel. Even the smallest ones, they'll stop and interrogate us, demanding to know what we plan on doing with it. It's a real nuisance. I understand. I'm sorry for dragging you into this mess. <laughs> uh, don't be silly. Uh, I'm actually happy you came to me for help. I've always come to you for fireworks, and again this time. So just consider this my way of saying thank you. Right. I'll go fetch the boat now. I should be back shortly. Thank you. Oh, if it's on the way, you can always pick up your fireworks from my house. Everything was made in strict accordance with what was on the paper slip. You won't find the slightest thing wrong with them. All right, then. The fireworks show will be starting soon, won't it? You should make sure your new friends get to see it. It's an Inazuma tradition after all. Yep, that's the plan. Oh, you know what? You should tell them about your past. About the first time you ordered fireworks for my family. That's a long story, actually. Where do I start? Oh, oh. Maybe I'll come back to that after moving the boat here. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, got caught up in the conversation there. Okay, well, I'll leave you to it for now and meet you back here later. <laughs> Lucky you reminded me. Otherwise, I would have ended up chatting the rest of the day away. Ugh, I've been so busy with the fireworks business these past few days that I haven't had a moment to stop and chat with anyone. Ugh, it's killing me. Of course, Pops is happy to listen to me chatter away, but because he can hardly hear anything, it's difficult to get an interesting reaction from him. And I'm doing it again, aren't I? Ugh, what I meant to say was, while Koichi is bringing the boat here, we should try to find some firework materials. I need to make fireworks not just for you guys, but for those kids and Sakajiro as well. We're missing a lot of materials. It'll be fine. It's actually like this every year. There's always a bunch of extra orders to slot in here and there. When people want fireworks, it's always because they have something to commemorate. And if they miss the chance, they might never get another one. So, no matter how busy I am, I'm always happy to take their orders. So, what you're trying to say is that you enjoy the work? Oh, I do! I really do! Being born into a family of fireworks makers, I feel like since I was a kid, I've been obsessed with watching things go boom! And then seeing all the lights and colors and... Uh, uh, what I really wanted to say was, uh, don't worry about me. It'll all be fine. Uh, sorry, sorry. It's just that good conversation can be as fleeting as fireworks sometimes, you know? So, when I'm in the mood and I've got a lot to say, I just have to get all out there in one go and leave no regrets. Let's head to the city. I think I'll try my luck with some people that I know. هي البنت بعد ما قلنا لها ان احنا زهقنا من كتر الرغي تقريبا <تصفيق> راحت قالت لنا اصل معلش القعده معاكم حلوه والكلام خدني ده اللي انا فهمته من النهايه <تصفيق> والماتيريال بتاعتها عامله ازمه كبيره وان هي البنت بتصنع العاب ناريه ابا عن جد وحوار عائلي كبير يعني استنى بقى هو احنا المفروض نروح فين ده مدينا دايره بيقول ايه لوك فور فايرورك ماتيريال ان ذا سيتي اه هنا اهو Hello Morihiko How's business these days Yoimiya هلا انا زي الفل والله مش ناقصنا الا شفتك يا يوميا No need to beat around the bush You're here for the fireworks materials I assume I put a batch aside Mo ma tanfa'na anta fi al-qissa di illa titla bu wa khalas Huh really How did you know because a fireworks show is coming up, and that usually means you're running all over the place trying to get your hands on some last-minute materials. I've come to expect it now. There's always a few extras unaccounted for. It. Oh, I'm so sorry for bothering you every time. 
Ah, oh, come on now. You know I didn't mean it like that. I'd sooner have my business go under than turn down one of your requests. What about you two? Are you the ones needing some fireworks made? Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> it's no trouble at all, my friend. Uh, once when I had an argument with my son, Yoimiya was the one who came and calmed him down. I'm hopeless at communicating with him. If it wasn't for Yoimiya, who knows, he probably would have run away by now. Nah, he was never gonna come to that. He's a sensitive kid and he cares a lot about your feelings. It's just, he doesn't know how to express it. Maybe if you turn that frown upside down once in a while, he might feel more at ease. Yeah, I guess I'm probably too serious around him. Which is strange, because I don't think I'm anything like that when I'm talking with other people. Don't worry about it, no one's perfect. If you have any more trouble in the future, just come to me. Even if it's not fireworks related, I'll happily oblige. Customers come first, always. <laughs> All right then. Everyone's always saying what a good kid you are. You're f Go ahead and take the ore, by the way. It's on the house. Oh, no you don't! That's out of the question! Don't worry, just take it as a token of my gratitude. Gratitude won't pay your bills, though. Uh, don't do this to me. Can't we just play by normal business rules here? I already said it's fine. Please, just take it. Surely you've got a load of other things you need to get done today. Um, well, how about this then? I'll record this in my notebook, and we can consider it a down payment against any fireworks you want to purchase in the future. <sighs> There's no convincing you, is there? All right, then. If you ins pass on my regards to your dad, tell him Morihiko wishes him health and happiness. Will do. You look after yourself as well. Don't push yourself too hard. You don't want to make yourself ill again. Everyone seems to really like you, Yoimiya. You're not the first person to say that. In fact, some people think I'll literally do any favor they ask me to. When that happens, I say to them, Hey, this is a fireworks store. We do, but ugh, they don't always listen. So it can't be helped. But also, it's not really a big deal. Anyway, we've got all the materials we need now, so that solves that problem. Next, we just need to go find someone to process them. يعني المفروض ان هم كده خدوا الماتيريال اللي هم عايزينها عشان يعملوا الالعاب الناريه بتاعتهم بتاعت يوميا وهي هتروح تصنعها بقى دلوقتي And you must be here for some firework materials. Seems like everyone knows how busy Yoimiya gets leading up to the fireworks show. I'm very sorry. Would you be able to wait for a while? I have quite a backlog of weapons orders right now. No worry. Oh, oh wait. Actually, uh, yeah, that could be a problem. Uh, some worries. How about this? Do you need a hand? As long as we can get through your orders, you can help me process my ore, right? Uh... That will depend on my master. Oh, you don't mind, do you, Mr. Aminoma? As you know, it's not long now until the Naginohara fireworks show starts. There's still a lot of fireworks left to make, if I don't finish them on time. Talkative as ever, I see, dear child. The essence of Aminoma art is patience and focus. When the mind is disturbed, it will show in the blade that is forged. If you badger Hajime like this, you will only succeed in disrupting his concentration. But, but this is a special circumstance, surely! The Naganohara fireworks show is right around the corner! So give me your ore, and I will process it for you. Huh? Master, you mean you'll do the work personally? Is that so surprising? It is, after all, the only option. Thank you for helping out, Mr. Aminoma! You're quite welcome. The Naganohara Fireworks Show is an important event. This, I know well. In addition to this, I am indebted to Ryunosuke for all the business he has given me. But Yoimiya, you should plan things more carefully in the future. 
Do not rush everything at the last minute. <laughs> I'll try my best. In the future, I'll get some extra materials in to cover any unexpected changes of plan late in the day. <sighs> Though for you, dear child, no matter how much you prepare in advance, it may never be enough. Excuse me. I will be back shortly. Wow! Mr. Noma! Just look at the shape and size of these grains! It's beautiful! I'm at a loss for words. It's been a while since I've seen you take up your tools, but it looks like your craft hasn't degraded one bit. Of course. I have studied these techniques my whole life. They are impossible for me to forget. So have Amenema Art and Naganohara Fireworks been working together for a long time already? Back in the day, it was my master and Ryunosuke's father. The people may have changed from one generation to another, but the ingredients required to make fireworks have remained the same. Hajime, in the future, this will be up to you. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, I won't bother you guys any longer. Oh, remember to come and watch the fireworks. Okay, time to head off. Koichi probably isn't back just yet, but let's go wait for him. Let's go to Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi. Just as I thought, he isn't back yet. But not to worry, because actually, I've been hoping for a chance to have a nice long chat with you all day. Sorry for dragging you with me everywhere. Everyone's been so good to me, though. It's all gone really smoothly. <laughs> has barely spoken a word this whole trip. I felt like I was neglecting you guys, so I wanted to find an opportunity to catch up. When we first met, I was in a hurry. We didn't have a chance to sit down and have a proper chat. You guys are travelers, right? So, where else did you go before coming to Inazuma? Oh, sounds great! I heard they pretty much have no rules over there. كلهم كل ما يعرفوا ان احنا من من ستيت يقولوا ان الموسيقى بتاعتها هناك حلوه جدا اكتر من حد قال لنا المعلومه دي their dandelion wine is super famous yes that's the one i remember when he drank it <laughs> i've never seen him enjoy a bottle of wine so much in his life he was telling me all night about how good it tasted my friend once said to me that only people with a strong will and a clear purpose decide to go traveling. Maybe it's to see a certain view or to fulfill a certain wish. So, what made you guys embark on your treacherous journey to Inazuma? And to find a lost family member, too! You were separated from your family because of a god? Oh... That must be really tough. I get it. Well, if that's how it is, then that's how it is. <sighs> You know, I was going to ask if you guys wanted to stay here in Inazuma. Unlike the outside world, what Inazuma seeks is eternity. In other words, a state of tranquility where very little ever changes. The advantage of that is that if you're ever tired from your journey, Inazuma's a great place to come and rest. Um, uh, let me put it this way. I was just worried that you might be getting weary. If you keep pressing on in that state, you might start to lose sight of the things that made you want to start your journey in the first place. <sighs> Sometimes. That's also just how it is. When you're exhausted, everything becomes an uphill struggle. Even trying to have fun. You won't be able to enjoy yourself if you're too tired. An adventure friend of mine once told me that if you're too focused on reaching the end of the race, you'll miss a lot of opportunities and precious moments to be had along the way. Don't worry though, I'm sure I can think of some way to get you feeling relaxed and happy. And you're here now, so even if you're gonna leave eventually, I want to make sure you at least leave with fond memories. Who knows? Once you're reunited with your family, maybe you'll find Inazuma the right kind of place to call home. <laughs> I already have an idea of the color and type of fireworks I want to give you guys. I'll 
keep it a secret for now, though. Yoimiya, I'm back. Uh, sorry to keep you waiting. Let's head over to the boat. Or, uh, did you want to keep chatting a little longer? Okay, good. Let's go then. Just act naturally, though. We don't want to raise any suspicion. If I can withstand the storms out on the ocean, it must be super sturdy, right? Absolutely. Rest assured that the quality is guaranteed. هو الماركات كلها قريبه من بعض في المهمه دي ولا انا متهيالي يعني الاز مهمه بصراحه في موضوع الماركات مش بنبعد بعيد خالص وي This is the biggest and sturdiest boat that I can provide. It's built from the finest Inazuman timber. Still, I'll be the first to admit that if he's planning to ride this into the storm, it's going to be exceedingly dangerous. I'm also hoping Sakajiro won't have to use it. It's just there as a last resort. I gotta say though, Koichi, it feels like your craft has improved once again. <laughs> I'm not the one you should be praising. It's all thanks to the guys who kindly pitched in. To avoid detection, we each worked on our own materials separately, then assembled them secretly in the night. This is the largest we could afford to build. Any bigger, and there's no way it would pass the ten commission's inspection. Let's store the boat here for now, then. I'll fill Sakajiro in when I get back. He'll need to make some preparations before setting sail. Sakajiro make you a collaborator in the eyes of the Tenryo Commission? <laughs> Maybe it does, but I knew what I was getting into from the moment I agreed to help him. My family has pretty good connections with the Yashiro Commission. We work very closely with them, and whenever there's a national event of any sort, the other two commissions come to us too. As long as I'm polite and respectful and don't cause a fuss, they won't look to cause trouble for me either. And anyway, to your point about collaboration, you've been helping out too, right? That's true. This was all a collaborative effort. Wait! Uh, uh, oh no! Ah, so you're seasoned crooks already, eh? Don't know what I was worried about then. <laughs> anyway, thanks for everything, Koichi. And your fireworks are ready, so just go pick them up from my house whenever you want. While you're there, you can get my pops to settle the book. Oh, don't worry about paying anything. Third sis would be sure to scold me if she found out I'd taken Mora from the Naganoharas. Who's third? Oh, uh, let me explain this one. It's a story my pops told me. There used to be a thriving merchant guild in Inazuma. It got really prosperous. At one point, there were a dozen or so kids born around the same time to the families of the guild. They all grew up together, each of them learning their respective family's business. They were a tightly knit group of friends, but eventually they all grew up and decided they each wanted to go into business themselves. It was inevitable that business would send them all to different corners of the world, and that they'd have far less opportunity to see each other in the future. That's right. Just before we went our separate ways, the eldest of the group suggested that we should all go watch some fireworks together one last time. <laughs> they were all very ambitious types, and each had their own knack for doing business. One by one, they left, until Koichi was the only one of them remaining in Inazuma. After that, he hardly saw them. But, whenever one of them did come back to visit, fireworks would always be involved. Yeah, no matter how close you and your friends are, there's always going to be s some distance after being separated for a long time. But as soon as the fireworks lit up the sky, it'd instantly take us right back to our childhood, and we'd be ch chatting away like in the old days. To us, those memories are eternal. Oh, so this is what you meant when you were talking about commemorating things. Yep, that's exactly right. That's why I can't let people down when they're counting on me for their fireworks. Anyway, I need to go update Sakajiro. See you, Koichi. Thanks again for your help. Yeah, I should get out of here too. I don't want to get caught red-handed. Okay, story time. So, whenever Koichi... One of his friends... 
لغايه دلوقتي كل الماركات اللي طالعه لنا كلها في المدينه نفسها فدي حاجه ممتعه بصراحه انت فين تحت اوكي ready and waiting. I'll mark the location for you on the map. Before you leave, I recommend that you pack some food and water. You can never be too prepared. Uh, after how much effort it took to get back in, it's hard to convince myself to leave again. Especially when I'll be going up against the stormy ocean on a tiny little boat. My prospects don't look great. Well, they won't look much better if you get caught by the Terrio Commission. I'm afraid that sooner or later they are going to find you here. Time is starting to run out. I'm sorry. I'll make sure to get out of here before they come. I promise I won't cause any more trouble. I didn't mean it like that. If we ever ran into any problems, I'm sure I'd figure something out. But if the Terrio Commission does catch up to you, then make a run for the boat. Okay. I won't let them catch me. But... <sighs> no, I guess this whole trip was a waste in the end. Why did you want to come back to Inazuma anyway? Is there something you wanted to do? I didn't used to like this place at all. That's why I left. But looking back on things now, I was really just running away from my responsibilities. Once I started to realize that, I got restless. I couldn't stop thinking about the people and the things I'd left behind. So I... Ah, forget it. What does it matter now? It's too late anyway. I originally wanted to make up for all my regrets, but instead, I found myself in the situation I'm in now. What a pity. Talk to us about it! Maybe we could... If only there was no Sakoku decree, huh? Anyway, uh, don't worry. We're not going to bother you about it. We'll keep trying to buy you as much time as possible until you reach your final decision. The Tenryo Commission. If only they weren't so overzealous, there might be a way. Oh, that's right! That elderly couple, old customers of ours, their son's in the Tenryo Commission, isn't he? That's it! I'll go talk to them. Maybe they can do something. Um, are you sure they won't just report me instead? Oh, don't worry about that. They're really nice people. I know them well. They won't cause us any issues. All right. You should get back indoors, Sakujiro. We'll be back in no time at all. Okay, let's go! Time waits for no one! Wait, hang on. What about the fireworks? All those materials? Oh, there's so many orders to finish! Pods? Pods? No, oh, never mind. <gasps> I know! I'll write him a note telling him to sort out the fireworks. <laughs> him! Why did you cut Paimon off earlier? Because what he needs Oh, شكلنا كده حسبنا نفسنا يلا بينا بس كويس لغايه دلوقتي يعني التليبورتات اللي الاماكن فيها بتاعت المهمه انا فاتحاها بس مش فاتحه الباقي <تصفيق> في حاجات كتير مش فاتحاها لسه بالنسبه يعني التليبورتات وكده هو اوكي بيقول فيزيت اولد مش عارفه ايه هم الناس دي قبل تو اسك زير فور هير ماشي احنا هنسالهم اذا كانوا عايزين مساعده ولا لا اللي هم الاثنين العواجيز دول Indeed, these are unprecedented times. But seeing as they came all this way, we locals should give them a warm welcome. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, before I forget, I... Oh, thank you, dear. Your family is so good to us every year. First your father, and now you. يقول لها ان هي دايما عيلتها كانت خدومه بالنسبه لهم وابوها كان بيخدمهم ودلوقتي هي اللي بتخدمهم يعني. Well, you're both in great health. Don't say things like that. It's bad luck. Uh, 
We aren't as young as we once were, though. The body knows it. It used to be that I could spend all day working the land, carrying water back and forth. But now, even a moment of light work leaves me with all sorts of aches and pains. I wanted to do some weeding yesterday, but as soon as I bent down to get started, I suddenly felt that if I went any further, I wouldn't be able to get back up again. No worries. Say no more. We'll handle it. No, no, no. We can't be putting you to work when you're a guest in our home. I'll just go fetch the tea and some snacks, and then we'll continue our conversation. It's fine. It's not like it's the first time I've helped you with chores. I just haven't had much time recently with the fireworks show coming up. But once the- It's no trouble, really. We don't mind helping. Oh, you're such good kids. As for mine, he's all grown up now, hasn't found anyone yet, and he doesn't visit very often. Uh, if you're quite sure it's no trouble, then I have some pickled radish here. Would you mind delivering it to Sataru on the other side of the village? Sure. It won't take us a moment. The old folks aren't very mobile, so come on, let's help them out. We'll get rid of the weeds first, and then deliver the pickled radish. Uh, ماشي <تصفيق> احنا الشجر ده بن بنساعد الاثنين العواجيز في ان احنا نشيله لهم كده من الارض بس الشجر مش بيتداس علي احنا بنضرب الشجر كده فبيتشال شفتوا شفتوا الفهم والنصاحة اللي احنا فيه مش حادش نروح بقى للرجل الكبارة ده ابو ساكسوكا هنروح للعواجيز بتوعنا تاني That was quick. Ah, young people are so handy. Younger people 
people have bundles of energy, and older people have a wealth of wisdom. Each have their strengths. Speaking of youth, do you know what? It's been 50 years this year. Oh, so it has. Goodness, how the time flies. You barely notice as the years go by, but then... 50 years since what? Some important day? <laughs> well, if you must know, it was 50 years ago, back in the days when this young lady was still trying to win me over, that... Oh, stop trying to impress them. <laughs> we both know you were the one who was hopelessly smitten and desperately trying to win my affection. Well, maybe you're right. <laughs> Fifty years ago, I proposed to my wife at the Naganahara fireworks show. We've been together ever since. Mm, to tell the truth, I was still a little uncertain. I wasn't sure what I was doing when I walked into the Naganahara's shop and ordered my firework. Even as it was rising up into the sky, I still had no clue what I was going to say. But then it exploded, the sky lit up, I looked back at her and saw her eyes twinkling in the light of the fireworks. Before I knew what was happening, apparently, I'd already said it, and... Fifty years. In some ways, it's a long time. In others, it's no time at all. Really, it's just a number. But fifty years of being together? Now that is something worth commemorating. I had no idea it was your 50th anniversary. If I'd known, I would have made some extra fancy fireworks just for you. Oh no, it's quite all right. We always set off the same firework every year. It wouldn't be the same without it. Seeing that firework go off takes us right back to those days. Even at this age. We still look back with not a single regret. Ah, oh, what a great relationship they have. <laughs> Enough about us, though. Yoimiya, aren't you busy with the fireworks show coming up? Was there something you needed to discuss? Yeah, um, it's a difficult thing to talk about, but here goes. Mm, Sakujiro. So he came back. Huh? You know him? He was our boy's best friend when they were young. <sighs> they were inseparable. They grew up together, shared everything with each other, and went everywhere together. But one day, they had a terrible argument. Sakujiro seemed to feel that Inazuma was too peaceful, and wanted to see what the outside world was like. But our Keisuke took after his father and mother. He felt that there was nothing wrong at all with being peaceful. You know what children are like. They get terribly worked up about these sorts of things. In the end, Sakujiro stormed off, and that was that. I see. Keisuke said nothing to me or my wife about the fight. We could sense that he was very hurt by it, but... He didn't want to talk with us about how he was really feeling. Eventually, whether out of pent-up anger or for some other reason, he joined the Tenryo Commission. He rarely comes home anymore. If it was anything else, I could talk to Keisuke, and I'm sure he'd be willing to help. But since it's Sakujiro, I don't feel there's any way we can get involved. What a strange coincidence! Who'd have thought? I understand now. When I asked Sakujiro why he came back, he just said because of past mistakes and wasn't willing to elaborate. Now I finally understand why he can't decide what to do. Two best buddies in childhood. One grows up to join the Tenryo Commission, the other grows up to join the Tenryo Commission's most wanted list. Well, no worries. If that's the case, then never mind. We can find some other way to help Sakujiro. There's no need to make things difficult for you. This sounds like something for Sakujiro and Keisuke to resolve between themselves. Yes. Oh, it'd be so nice if they could go back to the way things were. I think after all these years, they ought to let go of their grudges. 
Well, can't say we did. Hi. طب هو يعني ما حدش واخد باله ان العواجيز دول احنا بعد ما ساعدناهم ما عزموناش حتى على كوبايه شاي ولا حتى كوبايه ميه ماشي والله اللي ليها اللي فيها لله ما بتغرقش احنا بنعمل لله مش عايزين منهم حاجه كده كده بس يا اسكت اسكت دي اصلا مهمه يويميا يعني يويميا اللي تتكلم From the Tinrio Commission came by. Huh? Why? Do they know? Pops, are you all right? They didn't do anything to you, did they? I told them the show was starting soon and the place was filled with fireworks, so they shouldn't go in because it's a fire hazard. But they didn't listen. It seemed like they knew Sakujiro was inside. Luckily, Sakujiro heard them coming in time and managed to escape through the window. The Tinryo Commission wasn't able to capture him. Oh, this is bad news. I don't think Sakujiro had enough time to make his mind up. Pops, did you see where he went? Oh, the Tenryo Commission will definitely be chasing after him. Good point. Names, waiting names. Suddenly showing up like this, surely it must be Keisuke's doing. The Commission wouldn't normally cause this big of a fuss over a stowaway. Oh, sorry, my ears are no good, and I didn't get a good look at them either. If you're wondering which way they went, they left the city. I wish I'd caught their names, oh, but I didn't hear a thing. As it happens, I did. I was getting some ore from my friend's place and happened to bump into them on the way over. I think their leader's name was Keisuke, just like you said. Just as I thought. Thanks. If Sakujiro still hasn't made up his mind, those two running into each other won't solve anything. And even worse, there'll be no coming back from it for Sakujiro. We can't let that happen. Come with me. Let's track them down. طيب هو بيقول لنا هنروح نمشي ورا الكلام دوت ولانا نيم ماشي رحنا للاطفال تاني But I'll bring you guys some candy next time. The extra sweet candy, the one you guys love. Yeah, hey, we're gonna get candy. Woohoo! Also, I wanted to ask you guys something. Uh, did you see a bunch of scary? هي للأسف قالت لهم إن هي تعمل ألعاب النارية بقى بعدين بس هي هتظبطهم في الحلويات وكده. Are they trying to catch a monster too? No, don't worry. It's all just a big misunderstanding. Be good kids and stay out of trouble, all right? Stay in the city for now, and I'll come play with you after the fireworks start. We will. We'll be on our best behavior, especially for you, Yoimiya. It looks like this is the right way. Let's get going. If Sakujiro still hasn't made up his mind, I guess I'll have to step in. Look, there are people from the Tenryo Commission over there. It must be them. Sorry, official business. I can't let you pass. Sakujiro and Keisuke are up ahead, right? We need to talk to them about something. Didn't you hear me? You're not getting past. Ugh, what a nuisance! <sighs> well, you've only got yourself to blame! لا خلاص بقى هم اللي اضطرونا فدي لازمها عركة بقى معلش. Let's light it up! 
هو انا بغير بجيب بنت بدل يا ايمي بتلخبط لا ومدينا في الماتيريال بتاع سلاح خمس نجوم حاجة كده يعني واو معلش يا ناس لو لو فاكرين بنخاف يبقوا هبل كان في حاجه هنا انا عايزه اخدها طارت طارت يا فجريه اوكي اهو اللي احنا علمنا عليهم اهم ايه ده لا ده صاحبنا You should have known that you stood no chance against me in a duel. I never imagined I'd fall into your hands. I, if this is to be my fate, I accept it. I have nothing else to say. When the baby was born, I had nothing to say. You finally came around to my point of view. Whatever you say, you will return with me to the Tenryo Commission to await your sentencing. The one who made this boat will also be punished. Wait! It doesn't have to end like this. Don't you have anything else to say to what? Hey, I know you. You're not gonna hire us. طبعاً أنت عارفني لسه معلم عليك من شوي. I know you like to get involved in other people's business, but stay out of this. It does not concern you. It's okay. Yeah. The past is the past. Then why did you risk life and limb to get yourself back into Inazuma? And why were you so reluctant to leave after you got here? I'll tell you why. This is why. This is the chance you've been waiting for. I have nothing to say to him. He's a criminal. I work for the Tenryo Commission. There is never any room for discussion. Out of respect for the friendship we once had, I gave him a chance to fight for his freedom. But what are you talking about? And just who do you think you're kidding? You left all your subordinates back there to guard the road, making sure no one else followed you here. Seems to me like you were hoping for a chance to talk. I can see it in your faces. You both have so much to say, and you're just gonna choose to keep it all inside? Tuh. Don't flatter yourself. What would you know? You and Mia, leave it. It was just my wishful thinking. No, I won't leave it. I will not stand by and watch when you haven't even done anything. Kasuke. You seem to like settling things with a duel, so let's do it your way. I challenge you to a duel. If I win, then you need to say everything that's in your heart. No more running from your feelings. And the same goes for you, Sakujiro. If I win, you will tell Kasuke exactly why you came back, no matter what the consequences are. You have to tell him everything. If you don't say anything now, you may never have another chance. And if you lose? Then I'll admit to collaborating with Sakujiro, and accept the Tenryo Commission's punishment. Yoimiya, I accept. Let's settle this with a duel. شوف ملخص اللي فات ده وتسريعا الولد كان في مشكلة وده صاحبها المهم هي قالت له أنا هدخل معك في منافسة و ولو لو أنا كسبت أنت تعمل اللي أنا عاوزاه وسيبه في حاله حاجة زي كده يعني. و... ولو انا خسرت خلاص انا هشيل مسؤولية الموضوع ده وعرضت نفسها بقى بمعنى اصح يعني لا ماشي خدوا دي واحنا اكيد طبعا هنكسب يعني مش هنعرض نفسنا كده على الفاضي يعني
بحب العركات انا بعشق العركات اللي زي كده والله خلاص كده عملنا الصح بقى معاه طب يا الله ده طلعت قوية قوي ده احنا عايزين رجالة تاني بس ده رخبتك التقيلة دي اه دلوقتي عارف ان احنا يانج ليدي يا ناس ما تجيش الا بالعين الحمراء ايه هنا بقى تقول له حاجه زي ان هي ما بتحبش تتكلم عن نفسها كتير بقى البت وكده انا بفتي Nobody sets off a firework to feel lonely, do they? Mm. The reason I came back is that it wasn't that I'd changed my mind. I just felt that what I'd done in the past was to try to escape from reality. I saw the freedom of Mondstadt, the contracts of Liyue, the wisdom of Sumeru, and the justice of Fontaine. It all left a deep impression on me. I was glad that I'd left Inazuma, but then I happened to hear about the Sokoku decree. I was an escapee, and I was proud of that. What I should have tried to do is take the good things from the outside world and bring them back home. So that's why you came back? Out of your naive hope of changing the way things are here? No, I let go of all those delusions of grandeur. I just felt that... I never should have run away like that. <sighs> After all, you never ran away, huh? I don't know about you, but life hasn't been easy for me. But I just had to come back and visit. It was like fate was calling me, and I couldn't ignore it any longer. Life isn't easy for anyone. I truly worship the Raiden Shogun. Her ideas were my personal creed, and I desired nothing more than to see her will done. But now... <laughs> My role is to punish violators of this Hakoku decree and confiscate people's visions. It's not what I signed up for when I joined the Tenryo Commission. I do wonder, am I really doing the right thing? The boat is yours. Uh huh? I couldn't make you stay in Inazuma. خلاص بقى هو كده ساب له البوت بتاعه البوت بتاعه ده اللي هو القارب اللي انتوا شايفينه المركون جنبه ده هو كده خلاص سابه له بعد ما خد العلقه تمام قدر يسيب له القارب هي في ناس كده ما بتجيش الا لما تتضرب الراجل مسكين وصياد على قد حاله وعمالين يحطوا عليه بس على مين؟ طب تشكره على ايه؟ ما احنا لسه عاجنينه دلوقتي عشان خاطرك. ده بالعافية يا ابني ادالك القارب مش بالرضا والله. It's the one that Sakujiro planned on using for his escape. I asked Yoshitaka and the others to transport it here, citing that forcing Sakujiro to this spot was also something. What's the way? Tell him. It's just like you said, Yoimiya. Even though I hadn't fully made up my mind, my actions betrayed my intent. But I think you did the right thing. And look, now you've managed to resolve the grievance in your heart by talking about it. I understand now. Thank you. I didn't know you were quite so perceptive. You saw right into what I was thinking. <laughs> That's only because I know your parents so well. They're both really nice people, so I didn't think the apple would fall too far from the tree. I had heard there was a new Naganohara running things these days. A little loud and reckless, maybe, but <laughs> you live up to the family name. By the way, Naganohara fireworks can reproduce the firework that the two of us set off back then, right? Would you be able to make one for me? يا راجل عايز عايز نعمل له واحدة لعبة نارية عشانه اه I see never mind then Don't get too down just yet though I mentioned that Sakujiro ordered a firework from me didn't I? 
to make another one, but I'm guessing Sakajiro probably won't be needing his anymore. It'd be a shame for it to go to waste, so I'll make an exception and let you set it off instead. Thank you very much. Thank no you very much. And don't miss out on the start of the fireworks show. Mish, yalla bin. Yalla yoimi. Then a nafsi shtat tat farag al shota al alab al nariya. words if you're not willing to communicate then the problem just sits there if you just keep staring at it without doing anything eventually you'll watch every last opportunity to resolve it slip away before your eyes sakajiro and keisuke can't turn back the clock in their relationship but that's no reason to live with remorse anyway follow me i'll bring you to the perfect place to watch the fireworks my pops will set off the firework that i wanted to give to you نطلع فوق ولا ايه اه فوق بحب قوي الديكور بتاع اللعبه والجرافيك والانيمي وكل حاجه بصراحه وتاكو وتاكو يعني <تصفيق> وبحاول بقى اشتري الاضاءات ديت في البيت بتاعي في البوت بتاعي بس لسه ما صنعتهاش ولسه ما فرشتش ولسه ما عملتش اي حاجه بس بصوا الديكور المعمول هنا ده بفكر كده والله واعلم اقلده تعالوا بس نعرف هو فين في الخريطه ماشي كويس اوكي عرفت مكان نقلده في البيت بتاعنا يبي وصلنا اهو اهو عايم اهو البطل بتاعنا اللي احنا انقذناه ورجعناه له القارب تحفة 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 افتكر كسكي او ماي جاد بجد سو يا ميا ذيس فايروركس وات دو ذي مين تو يو يا ميا هي اللي عامله الالعاب الناريه وهي اللي سرحانه فيها بتحبها قوي هو انا اللي حاسه ان انا يعني حاسه ان انا نفس احساس يوميا في اللحظه دي بعد ما شفت الالعاب الناريه That's what I wanted to hear. I was hoping it would leave a deep impression on you guys. No matter where your journey takes you and no matter what hardships might lie ahead, I hope you'll always be able to look back fondly on the fireworks you saw tonight. I believe that as time goes by, this firework will only grow brighter and more beautiful in your heart. Oh, and also, you're technically my customers now. Here, this is your paper slip. If you ever want to see that golden firework again, just come and see me. <laughs> you know, Yaimiya, you seem to turn into a completely different person during the fireworks. You were so quiet, and it was like you couldn't hear anything at all. Tuna la aizin shufu alab nariya jani bo taalo hina wana yani ha farrakku kid. Quietly watching something you made with your own hands rise into the sky feels like a sacred ceremony to me. You ask me what fireworks mean to me, right? Yep. Well, for Koichi, who built the boat for us, and his friend, Sir Tsis, fireworks commemorate friendship. For Keisuke's parents, they commemorate marriage. And for Keisuke and Sakajiro, they were commemorating... Oh yeah, right, beliefs. As for me, uh, <laughs> to be honest, uh, even though I've 
thought about it countless times before, I still haven't found an answer. Seriously? Huh. Paima was expecting something deep and philosophical. Well, no one's ever asked me this before, so I've never really settled on an answer. It was by chance that I happened to be born into the Naganohara family, so it was by chance that I ended up learning this craft from my pops. It's also by chance that I've met so many people, learned so many things, and discovered that people associate watching fireworks with the things that are most precious to them. Fireworks that disappear in a flash of light are probably the furthest thing away from the eternity that our shogun desires. But people's feelings don't just disappear, and it's those feelings that give fireworks their purpose. If nobody wanted to watch fireworks, then they wouldn't exist. Also, consider this. You have to have the Naganoharas because so many people are emotionally invested in the existence of fireworks. If we didn't exist, their wishes would go unfulfilled, wouldn't they? You know, I don't really think about complicated things like this very often. But I'm proud that I was born into the Naganohara family and have the chance to make so many pretty fireworks. كومبليت بس بصراحه ما قلتش اخيرا كومبليت لان المهمه كانت لذيذه قوي والقصه كانت حلوه يعني علشان كده ما قلتش اخيرا <تصفيق> بس كده دي كانت حلقه النهارده يا رب تكون عجبتكم ما تنسوش تعملوا لنا لايك وشير وسبسكرايب وتدعمونا وتستنونا في فيديو جديد من قناه سوبر سما